In March 2019, US Air Force Space Command organized a Space Futures workshop that examined eight scenarios of what would happen in space over the next 40 years. Each scenario was evaluated in terms of its civil, commercial and military impact on Earth and in space. 60 experts from multiple national space programs, aerospace corporations and military organizations from around the world attended the workshop. Of the eight scenarios, the experts chose a Star Trek future as the optimal outcome that humanity should strive to achieve by the year 2060. It's no accident that a Star Trek future is being actively pursued by the US military. Most assume Gene Roddenberry created his Star Trek TV series as a work of fiction in 1966. The truth is much more startling. Roddenberry was secretly briefed about the operations of a future US Navy space program that would lead humanity in joining an interplanetary organization similar to his fictional United Federation of Planets. Today, we know that fictional interplanetary organization was based on a real-life galactic federation of worlds. We also know, thanks to insiders such as William Tompkins, who worked at Douglas Aircraft Company from 1950 to 1963, that the Galactic Federation was secretly helping the Navy design and build future fleets of interstellar capable space carriers, destroyers and support craft. Today, the eight fleets of Navy space battle groups are widely known as Solar Warden and are led by cigar-shaped space carriers. One of the space carriers was seen by British hacker Gary McKinnon in 2002. The relationship between the US Navy and the Galactic Federation of Worlds has become so close that the next generation of space carriers due for release in the 2030s is being built nowhere on Earth, but in the space docks of a planet in another solar system, according to Tompkins. Behind the scenes, US Navy admirals played a vital role in seeding the idea of a Star Trek future in Hollywood as part of a long-term psychological operation to prepare humanity for their optimal future. Would you like to learn more about how Star Trek was based on real-life galactic issues and multiple extraterrestrial races? How growing military cooperation in space will lead to a modern-day Starfleet. How the Galactic Federation's history of cooperation with the US Navy's secret space program dates back to the 1950s. How the Artemis Accords paved the way for Earth eventually joining an interplanetary association, the Galactic Federation of Worlds. How the attempt to create a galactic tyranny originating from the Earth, Moon and Mars has failed and led to the collapse of the Dark Fleet, Deep State and their extraterrestrial allies in a temporal war. To learn more about these and other exciting new developments, join me for my all-new webinar, Our Star Trek Future.